Hi kiddos. I hope everyone's having a great day today. I have Caesar with me today because I'm going to read us a, a book, a story about two of my favorite things, art and dogs. Caesar's gonna be a good boy and he's gonna follow along and listen to the story. Today's story is called Art Dog by Thatcher Hurd. This is a really silly book about a dog who loves to paint. He's an artist. Let's see. Arthur Dog was a guard at the Dogopolis Museum of Art. He liked his job. He liked guarding the paintings by Vincent van Dogg and Pablo Poodle. But Leonardo da Vinci was Arthur's favorite painter. Or was it Henry Matus? Arthur couldn't decide. Let's see, there's Arthur at his job at the museum. And here are all of his favorite paintings. Let's see. At night, Arthur came home to his little apartment on West 17th Street, made himself dinner, and read until it was time for bed. Arthur led a quiet life. He seldom went out, except on nights when the moon was full. On those nights, Arthur's eyes grew bright and his fur seemed to glisten. He would take out a box he kept in, it, in his closet. There's Arthur at his house, at his apartment. And look, he's gonna take something out of his apart, out of his uh, closet. Hmm, what could it be? Put on a hat and a mask and tiptoe down the back stairs into the streets of Dogopolis. He crept down an alley and when he was sure no one was around, he unlocked the box and took out Hmm, what is Art Dog doing? Let's see what he's going to do. He painted a slash of lightning, a splash of sunshine, and dozens of glowing lights in the night. He painted monsters 10 feet tall, fish with tails the size of houses, frogs ready to hop over skyscrapers. Whoa, look at all the beautiful art that he's painting on the sides of the buildings. That's called graffiti or street art. Let's see. When he was finished, he crept home, a dog alone, wondering if anyone ever noticed his paintings. No one saw him paint or sign his paintings with a splat of his tail and the name Art Dog. No one knew who Art Dog really was until one night at the museum. Crash, a window was broken, a door was busted. Bring, the alarm went off and footsteps chattered down the hallway behind the museum. Oh no, there was a robbery at the museum. Let's see. The police screeched to the screen scene of the, of the crime. The director of the museum was not far behind. Yikes, the Mona, the Mona Woofa's gone, cried the museum director. Look what they left instead of the Leonardo da Vinci. This isn't art. Looks like a Mona Lulu to me, said the chief of police. The paint's still wet. Oh no, they took one of the most famous paintings in the world. Let's see. Find me the culprit, barked the chief of police. They nabbed the first dog they found in the alley. His eyes had a certain glow to them and his fur seemed to glisten in the moonlight. He also had a paintbrush in his paw. Book him, said the chief of police. They threw him in jail, but, oh no, poor art dog. They're confusing him. Let's see what, what's gonna happen. When no one was looking, he pulled out a brush and a tube of paint and he painted a ladder. He climbed up the ladder and where there, was, where there were bars, 
he painted a window and jumped out. He's a smart dog. Look, he's using his paintbrush and art to escape out of prison, out of jail. Let's see. Back onto the streets of Dogopolis. Then he put his nose in the air. What was he sniffing? Suddenly, he took out his brush and his paints. Zip, splash, smoosh. He painted himself a brush mobile with his name on the side. Ooh. That car looks fast. It's a brush mobile. Let's see. Let's see where he's going. He whizzed over to the Acne Paint Factory to fill up his tank. Then off he roared into the night, over highways and bridges, through the park and past the ballet, leaving a trail of paint behind him as he went. His car takes paint instead of gasoline. Look, he's zooming all through the city. He slammed on his brakes in front of a deserted warehouse. He sniffed, he tiptoed, he looked inside. Three nasty looking mutts were getting ready to ship something to a distant port. He took a closer look. It was a Mona, yikes. The mutts turned around. Hey, what are you doing here? Said the biggest mutt. Gosh, I, er, must have made a wrong turn, said Art Dog. You can say that again, said the mutts. It looked like big trouble for Art Dog. There was only one thing left to do. Let's see what Art Dog is going to do to escape. <gasps> paint on guard. Touche. He's using his paintbrush again and his paints. Let's see. What a masterpiece. Wow, said the chief of police as he arrived at, with the museum director. How did you know where the Mona was? Our dog wiggled his, nail, his nose. I can smell art a mile away. The director of the museum said, I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Art Dog, said Art Dog, pointing to his brush mobile. Art Dog, I like the way you paint. How about a show at the museum? Sure thing, said Art Dog as he sped away with this, in his brushmobile. So look, he took the three thieves and he made them into art, into a painting. And now the director of the museum was so happy that he's gonna give him a show at the museum, his very own show. Let's see. Soon it was the night of art dog show at the Dogopolis Museum of Art. Everyone stood around and sipped root beer as they waited to meet Art Dog and see his paintings. But where was he? Where were his paintings? And for that matter, wondered the museum director, where's Arthur? He should be on the, on the job tonight. Suddenly, there was a sound. Everyone rushed outside just in time to see. Look at everyone all dressed up and uh, drinking root beer at the museum, waiting for the show to start. Whoa, Art Dog's high in the sky, finishing his masterpiece, City Rhapsody. Everyone was amazed and speechless. Then, suddenly he was gone. Who was Art Dog? Who was this painter in a brushmobile, catcher of crooks, bringer of light to the Dogopolis night? Wow, look at that beautiful sky. It's beautiful. No one knew. Mm, but look, Arthur's back at his, at his job. Arthur's back at it. <laughs> the end. Well, I hope everyone liked my story today. I think Caesar loved it. He loves Art Dog. I hope everyone has a great weekend, and I'll see you all Monday.